Joanna had uh, cervical cancer and her doctor, Dr. Gershon Lesser told her to go to this friend of his, a, a Beverly Hills uh, gynecologist because he wanted her to have the best. He calls the guy and gets an appointment because you just don't walk in the front door of a Beverly Hills gynecologist and get an appointment. So Joanna's in there. I know what it is that they're going to do. It's, it's not dangerous. They're going to knock her the fuck out and grind off the end of her cervix. Right across the street, it's a Lamborghini <laughs> sales room. So I walked across the street and I'm in the Lamborghini sales room and I've never seen anything so goddamn beautiful in my life. Gunmetal gray roadster, but that high. And it was just symmetrical every possible way. It was beautiful. And if it had been a girl, I would have fucked it right there on the, right on the showroom floor. It was just so goddamn sexy looking. Ugh, I'll never forget that. What a world these rich fuckers live in. What a car. Oh, my God. And I'm sitting in the car minding my own business. And I'm watching girls come out of the, coming out of this building. And all the girls have a bandage on their nose like they've been in a fist fight. They're not coming out all at once. They just come out one. And 20 minutes later, another one comes out. And another one comes out. I go up to the, to the gynecologist to see how Joanna's doing. And you know how people are when they come out from under anesthesia. She's she babbling about something. I'm smiling and just, you know, agreeing with her about everything. She wasn't making any sense at all. So we get, I get her out to the car and I see another girl come out and walk by the front of the car and get in with her mother in another car. And Joanna says, oh, that must be where the plastic surgery nose doctor is. It never occurred to me. I'm in Beverly Hills and all these teenage Jewish girls are getting their nose fixed at the Beverly Hills uh, plastic surgeons, which are right now. I'm going to tell you what David Steinberg, famous comedian, a joke about it. I just love the joke. So here we go. David Steinberg talking about noses. David Steinberg has a big nose too. With a name like Steinberg, of course he does. What can I tell you? So David says, uh, the parents of the Jewish girl look at their daughter and they go, oh, she'll never get a husband like that. We've got to get her nose fixed. So they take her to Beverly Hills and get her nose fixed. And she's got this cute little Doris Day cheerleader nose that she goes off to UCLA. And wouldn't you know, same time somewhere else in America, the Jewish parents look at their Jewish son and they go, oh, he'll never get away from the nose like that. Let's get his nose fixed. So the guy's nose fixed. And he goes off to UCLA. And they meet and they get married. They both think each other's beautiful. And then they have a baby. And the baby has a nose like a macaw. That's God's way of saying, booga booga. <laughs> That's David Steinberg. I just love that fucking joke.